What's up, guys? It's Fox again with another video. Um, so, first things first, if you haven't done the sacrifice quest, you may want to turn off the video. Very minor spoilers coming up. So, now is your opportunity to turn back. Okay, got that over with. So, I did a thing, did a bad thing. I stole from Excalibur Umbra. Um, yeah, I took two of the three Umbral mods and stuck them on Anaros. I actually bought a second Anaros and put five Horma into him because I'm fucking insane and I have no life. And, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at that build. So basically, I stuck everything I possibly could on this frame to get extra armor and health. Um, for the aura, we have Stand United for armor, Coaction Drift to increase that a little bit, and then we have Prime Vigor, Health Conversion, Gladiator Resolve, the Umbral Vitality, Gladiator Aegis, uh, Armored Agility, Rage, and Umbral Fiber. So, this is basically, you could basically do this build with just regular vitality and steel fiber, but you get a tiny bit more bonus um, because these are a set and they increase the stats on the mods the more of the set you have. If I had the third mod on, they would be even higher. I think it goes up to like 770% health, something like that. But, uh, as you notice, they are not polarized because only Excalibur Umber can have Umber polarities to match these. So, these are, you're basically stuck giving up 16 capacity for these. So, I had to put in five Forma. One for the Aura, and then, uh, two 3Ds and a V. So, every slot is polarized except for these two. So... Um, I did not put Hunter Adrenaline instead of Rage, even though it has 5% more, because it simply would not fit. I am at zero capacity, so this just perfectly fit in here. Um, yeah, the basic concept of this build is have a shit ton of armor and a shit ton of health, and when you get take any damage, you gain energy. You have a base 150 energy in all base uh, ability statistics, so when you use your one, which is the pocket sand, costs 25 energy, not a whole lot. You can cast six of those with full energy, but you gain the 25 pretty quickly with your health damage. So it's just a cycle of take health damage, pocket sand people, uh, do a melee finisher on them, regain health. There you go. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to go super deep into the numbers because I my numbers are slightly off and I don't know what exactly I'm doing wrong with the math. So take these with a grain of salt. But uh, without having your scarab armor on, which gives you 100% extra armor, and without health conversion going, which gives you up to, um, ooh, I did that wrong in the math, okay, that might be why, I did 450 instead of 450 times 3 stacks, anyways, this health conversion gives you additional armor on top of your calculated armor, it doesn't affect your base armor, so it's not like Anaris has a base armor of 200, so it's not like uh, 650 with a stack of this, then multiplied by, you know, umbral fiber and everything else. You do all the multiplication first, and then you add on a straight 450 or, you know, 1350 if you have max stacks, whatever that is. So, yeah, um, I'll have to redo the math on this max armor, but minimum armor without health conversion or your scarab armor going just from the mods you have equipped you you get 713 roughly armor it's showing 722 so I don't know where in the math I screwed up but it basically comes out to about 70 percent damage reduction and then it goes up from there if you get stacks of this and you get 
your 100% from your scarab armor, it goes up. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's a nice little build. I'm sure that there are other builds like uh, Ironclad, Charge, Rhino, that are way better for EHP and way cheaper because this has three primed mods that you have to max out. Um, yeah, I, you could probably even use these in a Ironclad Charge Rhino and get some ridiculous numbers, but I just felt like throwing them on here because this build is, sustains itself really well and it's very mindless, so it's like, oh, somebody wants me to run the sortie with them or run some Sanctuary Onslaught. I don't really feel like paying attention. I want to watch a YouTube video in the corner while I'm just hacking away at enemies. Well, there you go. This is perfect. It's good good mindless build. So, I demonstrate it here. What we will do is let's pick some corrupted enemies. Do like two ancients, two bombards. Let's see, two gunners. Couple butchers. couple of shotgun assholes and I don't know, lancers. So I'm not even gonna fuck around. I'm just gonna go straight to the max level 155 test. Cause <laughs> ain't got time to fuck around here. Just so you can see how this is. So I'm gonna charge up my scarab armor. Get the extra hundred percent armor. And I'm going to grab the health orbs, and that'll give me three stacks of health conversion. And then we'll just let them take pot shots and see how it goes. Alright. Keep in mind, level 155s. Yeah, a lot of frames would be vaporized at that point. And you can always do that. Pocket sand, assassinate a couple motherfuckers, and hey, look at that, I'm back at 7,500 health. And I basically have to take, what, one, maybe two hits, and I have a shit ton of energy. I can just pocket sand assholes again. And these guys are armored. I mean, I have corrosive on this, on this melee weapon. But they do take a little while to take down sometimes because of the armor, especially if this asshole's around here. But you know, trash mobs, things with corpus infested with no or low armor, you'll wipe them out in two seconds. But even these, these guys, even if you don't, it doesn't matter. They're not going to insta-gib you like most you know, frames would just get vaporized by a level 155 corrupted bombard shot to the face. This guy doesn't give a shit. And guess what? Even if you do hit him, if you get to the point where you're like, hmm, okay, well, you know, I'm getting down to like 2,000 health, which is still a shit ton of health, I don't like being this vulnerable. Pocket sand. Guess what? Now they're CC'd. And you can just melee finish them, and you get 20% uh, of your health back when you melee finish an enemy. When they die, that is. So, bam. I just healed a couple thousand HP. And, you know, if you run out of energy, just get hit one or two times at this level, and you're fucking full again. It's pretty ridiculous. You have no problem with pretty much anything in this game with this particular build unless you were doing like an endless survival for fucking ever. But even then, I mean, I'm sure it would it would carry you pretty goddamn far. Oh, somebody's alive. And not for long. I'm just going to let him bleed out, because I'm a sadist. There you go. 
So yeah, that's the build. One final thing before I go. If you are a fan of using cats or dogs, this build is fucking awesome for that. Uh, let me put on Link Armor. So you have, if you have Link Armor and Link Health, yeah, 772 armor, 11,422 health. I'm sure one of the dogs probably has better base stats, so it would benefit more. I don't know off the top of my head. But yeah, uh, this build is awesome for that. You know, bring your crit cat and let it jack up your crits, and there you go. Fucker won't. You won't have to revive it every two seconds. Pretty awesome. So yeah. That's the build. Uh, if you have any other builds or any other ideas that you'd like to see, just leave them in the comments. Let me know. I am not opposed to taking a frame or a weapon or something useless or something useful and shoving a 100,000 forma up its ass and putting a niche build on it just to fuck around and see what it does. Yeah, it's kind of what I do for fun. So... If you like the video, subscribe if you want. If not, yeah, whatever. I make like one video a year, so, you know. Thanks. Uh, see you guys in the next one.